What's going on guys, it's Sam, and I'm here with another top Tableau tip for you. So, in a previous video, we had a look at how you could use Unicode characters in order to highlight those positive and negative values. And what we're gonna do today is just build upon that a bit to show how we can use some conditional formatting as well. So, here we have our table, and we've got our arrow showing wherever they're positive or negative values. And if we wanted to color in these values, let's say we wanted to highlight the positive value is one color and negative value is another. One way that we could do it is just dragging on our sales difference onto color. And you'll see what happens is because we've got our measure values on text on the marks card and then we've added in our sales difference onto color, it's coloring the text and it's coloring it on a scale because our measure is in a range of values. Now, if we want it to be two different colors, the way we can get around that is by create an calculated field and we'll call this sales positive and what we'll do here is we'll do sales difference greater than zero if we click apply on that you'll see we now get a boolean calculation down in the data pane and if we drag that up onto color we now have our two colors so we've got orange for positive and blue for negative but again we're highlighting the entire row here in a color and that might not be what we want to do it makes it very difficult to read maybe our actual sales values rather than just the difference so how can we create a way of just just highlighting those positive and negative values maybe in two different colors so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a duplicate of this table here and I'm going to call this positive and negative coloring and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tidy up this table a bit because we don't want to have all of this information in there. If we just want to highlight what the um, sales for this year is and what the difference is, it's a much easier way to do that. So I'm going to get rid of everything off my view here. I'm going to bring in my sales 2022 and I'm going to have that on my text. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a couple of calculated fields. So I'm going to create a calculated field I'm going to call this sales posi because I've already used sales positive. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do an if statement and I'm going to say if my sales positive equals true, then I want to see my sales difference and then end. And if I apply that, what I can do is I can take my number format from my sales difference and I can add that in to this one here. Now what I'm going to do, so I'm going to take a copy of that. So I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to edit it. And this time I'm going to change this to be Negi. And I will change this to be false. And then sales difference. So what this calculation is doing is if the sales difference is positive, then for the positive calculation there it will pull through the value and for the negative one it won't and what we're going to do is we're going to utilize that in order to show the difference within the view here so I'm going to take my two new calculated fields I'm going to drag them up onto text and you'll see what happens is they all get added in but we can see for accessories we know it's positive so there's no value for that negative calculation now the space in here uh, because we've just dragged these values on the text isn't the best, so what we're going to do is going to tidy that up. So I'm going to click on text and on the three dots to edit. And you can see we've got our three um, fields here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sales 2022, I'm going to bold it, I'm going to change the size to 14. I'm then going to highlight the field for my positive sales, and I'm going to change that to green, I'm going to bold it, and I'm going to highlight the one for negative I'm going to change that to red and I'm going to bold that as well and at the end here I'm going to change the text to black I'm going to put YOY so what will happen is now is we'll have our sales for 2022 as a big number and then underneath that whether the value is positive or negative we'll have that value and it will be colored either green or red and then we'll have year on year so if we click apply on this you can see now in the one column We've got our sales value for 2022, and then we've got our year-on-year -year performance highlighted with the different colors. So that's how you can take 
that positive negative number formatting and elevate it and really cut down on the space you're using for a text table because this is the information we want. We don't necessarily need to see the prior year sales. If we did, if we needed to see our 2021 sales, we could drag that up into tooltip and we could edit the tooltip to be a bit nicer. So we could have that. So now we can hover over and we can see the year on year sales, but then we've got the year on year movement as the first thing that people see. So that's how you can apply some conditional formatting to your tables. Thanks for watching.